Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It's Thursday. I'm much better. I'm starting my vlog and I did get a COVID test and it was negative as well as the flu. So whatever I'm struggling with is non-viral, I guess. So yeah, but I'm at my post office box and I got my first Christmas card. Guys, look at that. And this comes from Wisconsin. I know. Isn't that awesome? I love Christmas cards. I love Christmas. And then I got a package. I got some other packages the other day. I just wasn't feeling up to recording. So I need to remember to show you. But I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of gnomes. And I'm super excited about that. Maybe I'll have like a little gnome family. I don't know. I'm trying to open the box. So I'm still stuffy, but I definitely am not feverish anymore. And yeah, I mean, who knows? It could have been a false negative. I don't know, but I tested. It was ne oh. so excited, guys. I love these gnomes. This one is the gray and red together. And this is just the gray one. And you know what I do? I take a toothbrush or a um, nail scrubby brush and I brush their little beards. Because I'm crazy like that. There's more. There's a note. From Tennessee. Oh, Thank you. I'm going to read that a little more in depth. It's from Anne. Thank you, Anne. And what's this? I don't know, but let's see. You guys are so kind to a boring old lady sitting on the internet. Oh, I might have to wait till I get home. I don't want to break anything. And I feel like Anne has been one of my very first subscribers, if I remember correctly, which don't quote me because my memory is not great when it comes to that. Oh, it is a gnome. I love gnomes, guys. He's going to go on for Christmas this year. In my gnome village. And, oh, gnome for the holidays. Oh, you guys are so nice to me. I'm excited. I think maybe I'll put all the gnomes under my Christmas tree. What do you think? Because... I won't have a ton of packages. I mean, I have enough, but I can put the packages to the side and fill under my tree with all the gnomes. All right, we need to go back home so that I can get back to work. But I wanted to share my friend mail. And I know I have more stuff at home and I gotta show you, and I will. But I just want everybody to know I'm feeling better. All right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm at the Posty again, and this time, I have an order that I'm getting from Zimf. Z-I-N-F-F. -F. They make glasses. They reached out to me and asked if I would like to try them. And I'll have some codes and we'll talk more about them later. But I wanted to give you my very first impression. They sent me two pair. Um, there's cards and codes and things. Now, before I... Oh, cute little glass case but I will tell you my prescription is pretty strong it's like plus three five and three seven five um yeah so I have a pretty strong prescription and I have bifocals or transitions or whatever you call them okay so it comes packaged nicely oh, guys I don't know and this really nice cloth I ordered two really fun pairs because I just thought it would be fun. Can I see? Oh, maybe. Okay, I already know what I need to do. Do you like them? Oh, guys, I love them. They're huge and I love them. I mean, I need to adjust, do a little adjusting on them, but that's the first pair. I'm shocked because I was anticipating, you know, I have bifocals. So I was kind of anticipating a transition. I mean, 
And like I said, I have a pretty intense prescription. Now I can already tell you I just need to do a little like adjusting so I'm looking through the bifocal at the right place. But I'm surprised ordering them online and just sending my prescription. And I have a second pair here. So let's open those up. I'm excited. I love new glasses. And you know, we don't all have vision insurance. And so getting them online isn't, you know, it's an option. It certainly is. And I am, I'm shook to the core right now that I can see. Because I have a hard time with glasses. <gasps> Oh, and I love the frame. Do you love the frame? They're clear plastic over wire. Okay, let's put those away. I love a funky frame too, if you haven't noticed. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> These barely fit in the case. That's on me though, because I ordered a big frame. Okay. Now we have a second pair and I will show you these. Now these are smaller and round. Y'all yeah, have to adjust these as well, just a little bit. <gasps> Let me fix these nose pieces. I didn't realize they had a, a wire nose piece. It just takes a little adjusting, like a second, you know? You, you make things fit how they should. Oh, I love these. Do you love these too? Now I'm having a little issue with this eye. But, yeah, I mean, I just have to find the sweet spot. But, guys, I got two new pair of glasses. And I can see. I can see you. I'm so excited. I'll go over the discount codes and everything when I get home because I can't go back to work. Bye. Hi, guys. It is Sunday morning, afternoon-ish, 12.30. I've been up, I've been finishing up decorating my house, and now I need to run to Joanne Fabric. And, sorry, I'm itching. Those fake trees make me itch. Um, I need more greenery for my tiered tray. I thought I had a lot, but I, last year I did a lot of purging, if you will. So I got rid of a lot of things that I've been used multiple times and it was time so I donated a lot of it um, some of the greenery had just seen better days so I threw that away so I just need some greenery and a couple things from the Dollar Tree so I have some DIYs coming up and one of them is for my tiered tray so maybe I'll do like a tiered tray decorate me quick DIY because the one thing I'm DIYing is super easy and I don't think it needs a whole video so maybe I'll do that. I'll do the DIY and then I'll show you how I'm going to decorate my tear tray. How about that? Sound like a plan? Oh, good. I'm glad you agree with me. I am burning hot. It is 54 degrees outside right now. But I've been I'm just pulling out my driveway. I've been um, doing the things. I've been toting and lifting and running up and down stairs and I'm sure everybody in this world can, you know, feel for me on this, but I know last year, I know, I bought two red covers for my pillows from Ikea. I know I did because it was earlier this year, actually, because last Christmas when I went to get them, they were already sold out. So in the spring when I was at Ikea, I guess winter before COVID, I picked up two and I cannot find them. I don't know where I put them. So we're just going to deal without them. I mean, it's not an emergency. It's not the end of the world. It's just not. Plus, I have other pillows. I just need to grab them and put them on the sofa. And we're going to have, like, all the plaid this year, I think, on my, on my sofa. And then I'm going to video a couple, do a couple videos. I think I need a shower first, though, because I'm sweaty. It's just hot. I'm hot. I'm warm. I'm wearing sweats. And it's not a sweat kind of day. Oh, and then I'm doing the video today, which will come out next week, uh, filling in my little gift bags for all my work people. All right, let me drive. Well, guys, my house is a complete and utter disaster. I'm trying to get up and finish, and somebody won't let me, but I'll show you. I am in the middle of decorating for Christmas. 
and it's true the only thing i have sort of done is my christmas tree but i gotta plug my angel in which i need to get an extension cord out why does the mess always have to be so bad oh the chris oh the cat bed i need to move that mantle nowhere near ready however my game of tetris this year seems to have proven to be okay that couch right there has been on four different walls and that is where it's landed my living room is not big my furniture is too big and this mammoth tree that i love so much really takes up a lot of room but look at all the ornaments it's so pretty all right back to decorating i will bring you on a tour when i'm done what are you two doing over there alex Dubby, what you doing? Y'all sleeping? You like your basket, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Silly kitties. Alex, you want one? Here, Dubs. Come here. Come here. Is that good, Alex? I bought the boys these Fancy Feast savory beef flavored, they're like little cubes, and you snap them apart, I'm shook. Alex is not a treat cat, I mean he'll eat them, but he's not like, give me the treats. Yeah, you want that? <laughs> they love these. Come here, Alex. Come here, Wellington. Let me move you over here. They're a mess. Here we go. There's for Alex and Mr. Wellington. He is very fussy, but he loves these treats. <laughs> Here's what they look like. They come in this bag. And they're like chocolate squares. You just... Here you go, buddy. Oh, you guys are done? I've given them quite a few. I mean, not like ten, but... Um, and you just break them. Here, Alex. You like those. Sir, I'm still in the middle of decorating here. Aw, pretty kitty. His favorite place to be is under that tree. Dubby. Be pretty. You can be pretty. Aw. Oh, and Alex found the other treat. <laughs> We're editing videos. And I'm getting ready to wrap Christmas presents. I think I'll wrap up this video here with a view of my gnarly living room. But I did get a bunch done today. That's the tablescape on my coffee table. That's the mess that needs to be picked up. Messes, messes. Some gifts that are wrapped in my pretty tree. All right, everybody. I'll talk with you later.